As a professional editor, here's how to recreate the early 2000s Y2K style animation called Fertiger Metro inside of After Effects. Make sure to stick to the end because we're going to give away two free editing preset samples. Let's get straight into it. First up, rotoscope your subject. If you don't know how to rotoscope, we have this video linked right here. Next, I'm gonna animate an image of a background. This can be a setting, environment, whatever you want, because our subject right here is dressed for the snow. We're gonna add a image of the Matterhorn. We're gonna drag that behind our layer. And the way I created this animation is just by keyframing the position and creating a smooth ramp effect like this. Now go to your effects and search for the threshold effect and apply that to your background. You can also apply this to your subject, but it honestly depends on what style you're going for. I'm gonna leave my subject as is for now. Now I'm gonna add a background. Now, Fruitiger Metro has a combination of gradients, halftone effects, uh, wavy lines. These are a lot of common themes. We actually made a preset pack of 80 plus PNG templates, MOV templates, transparent files, um, a Fruitiger Metro early 2000s effects that you can just drag and drop. So I'm going to use one of those backgrounds, but you can easily find one by searching on Google. So I'm going to drag this background right here to the back, and then I'm going to drag that to the most bottom layer. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a floral animation. Floral animations are also really common in early 2000s designs. So once again, we have these pre-animated in our pack and they're completely transparent. But if you wanna find a free one, you can also just go on Google and search them up. I'm gonna apply this behind our Matterhorn image. And just like that, we have some nice flora effects going on. So as you can see, our effect is kind of coming together, but we're not done yet. One other thing we're going to do to spice this up is add the Fruitiger Metro bubbly bounce effects. These are super common in most Fruitiger Metro effects. And we can just drag and drop these into our layer, just like that. And I'm gonna drag this behind our subject. Once again, you can just search on Google. Like these are just all, I'm just giving you the inspiration. You can literally recreate all of these yourself, but I'm using the pack because it's already pre-made, pre-animated and super easy to use. So we're gonna add one like that. And then I might add a different variation. We'll put this one right here in the top left corner behind the Matterhorn as well. That, and yeah, as you can see, our effect is coming together. It's looking pretty nice. Okay, there we go. That's looking pretty cool. I like that. Maybe I'll make this one just a little bit smaller. Okay, now we're getting a really cool look, but we want to spice this up. We want to add some camera shakes. So what I can do is I can actually just go ahead and create a new adjustment layer by hitting shift A. That's my hotkey for adjustment layers. Or you can go to layer, you can create new and create a new adjustment layer like that. Now you can create a camera shake yourself manually by using the transform effect, or you can use the sapphire shake effect, but these will take a lot of time because you literally have to drag and drop the transform effect. And then you create a keyframe at scale position. You go a couple frames in, you're going to zoom in and then you're going to uncheck composition shutter angle, increase the shutter angle speed. And then maybe in between, you might move this to a different spot, this, and then you might want to rotate it a little bit. It's going to take a lot of time to keyframe your own custom camera shake. So we actually made our own camera shake preset pack, which I've linked to a free sample below. So you can download that completely for free on us on the house. And you can just drag and drop this hit effect onto your adjustment layer. And just like that, boom, we have some crazy camera shakes being applied. So right when our subject starts jumping, we're just going to have some camera shakes being applied. This is a really nice way to spice things up. I'm going to hit command D on my adjustment layer to duplicate that. That shake. So then that way we have two shakes and you want to line it up with the motion of the subject just like that. There we go. That's looking pretty sick. And now last thing we're going to do is we are going to add a texture to this. I made a Y2K effect tutorial a while back actually, and I didn't touch over this in my last tutorial. So I want to do that now. I'm going to create another adjustment layer by hitting shift A and we're just going to label this one uh, blue just so we can keep track of it. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to search for the signal effect. Now this is a third party plugin that you do have to download. I believe it is paid, but if you apply it, you can see we got this crazy looking like distort effect and it makes everything just feel a lot more vintage and early 2000s -ish. so yeah this is looking pretty sick and as you can see there's a bunch of different settings of like seeds signal strength i can mess up the amplification i can just do a bunch of stuff to make this look really really distorted honestly it's looking really sick as is one other cool trick that i like to use is the mxm2 plugin once again this is a paid plugin as well but this trust me this one looks really sick i go to window i hit extensions and i click like MXM2. And then uh, this one right here, I just literally select the composition I'm working with. I click launch and then it's going to create everything in a paper mixed media style effect. It just makes everything look super like vintage, like handmade. It looks super dope. And I can actually go ahead and distort things like cuts so I can add like a bunch of different cuts to this. Yeah, this is looking crazy. Everything looks like it's cut out by hand, cut with paper. And there's like a bunch of different templates with it as well. This one looks cool as well. But yeah, as 
you can see, there's just a bunch of different ways you can stylize this Frutiger Metro effect. Have fun with it, mess around with it, be creative, and you can create a bunch of different cool looks for your music videos or whatever you're editing, commercials, vlogs, whatever. Hope you guys found something useful from this video. If you wanna check out the free samples of the Frutiger Metro effect and the Camera Shake Pack, I've linked to them below. And if you wanna learn how to automatically edit music videos to the beat of the song with visual effects, you can check out this video linked right here.